good plan? I don't know, but it's a plan. Hey everybody, welcome to the farm. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to continue working on our snow blower into a chicken pellet mill conversion. If you want to see all this video and all the other videos, look down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button so you can know when we get more projects underway. Okay, so what we got? We have the old snow blower head that come off, five horse gas engine, electric start. We've got our pulleys. This is the part that came off of here originally. We're gonna bolt that onto there. And I think I have a plan for how to drill that out. And then this will go on straight onto the shaft. Let's set up here and we will kind of show you what the plan is. So we're gonna double belt this since it uh, quite a bit of torque, I think. I wasn't sure about how I was going to get this concentric, but it turns out that that fits in there quite good. And I think that I can uh, probably just drill it out okay first challenge you can see that this fits concentric but i need it to be like this right so i want to leave this large hub on the back because i i think i might have to put a shaft and a um, a bearing to support the weight it's a pretty heavy cast iron pulley so i think i'm going to drill through like the first two bolts so that I can clamp it on there and then I can drill through the rest of it. It's a good plan? I don't know, but it's a plan. It is a plan. I think that six bolts will hold it. We're doing it old school. I think I got a, a clamp. A clamp would be handy, maybe. I don't see a clamp. Needs more go-go. A drill press and a vise would be handy. That was significantly more challenging than I anticipated. I didn't think that bolt would fit through it. But. That didn't go as planned. Not at all as planned. That offers a significant change in the dynamic of what we're doing. Huh. Well then. 
That's inconvenient. Quite inconvenient. We were almost through, though. Can you see? Surely we can finish it out. Oh, yeah. Money, money. Well, that doesn't look concentric at all. Probably gonna have to go get a different drill bit. Ah, that's that's inconvenient. I have returned, and I have drill bits. All sorts of assorted, wonderful drill bits of the non-broken variety. Let the uh, I think I want to try to kind of scribe this just with my pocket knife. See if I can kind of mark where it should be. I'm I'm assuming that that's concentric. I don't know. It sure don't look like it. Ah. I don't know if you can pick it up. But can you can you see that this hole is like way down there? Two point three three. Okay, well, it appears that this and this are concentric. It's just that the casting is created by the lowest bidder, which probably shouldn't surprise us any. I do not want to assemble and disassemble this multiple times. So I think I'm going to drill out these holes and use those two bigger bolts to set it permanently. And we'll see if that gets us anywhere.
Hot diggity dang. So temperamental. I'm going to try to get a little bit scientific here. Got it bolted. I ended up cutting a little slot there so I could gain a little space. I'm at 2.3 inches all the way around. Probably more concentric than any other thing that's ever been bolted onto that. So I'm going to try to drill two more holes in it. We're going to pilot them with a pretty small bit here. Actually, probably come in a little bit. Well, I feel like I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to put six bolts in it. Two or four of them a quarter. Two of them are going to be about five sixteenths. I feel like that is the best path. I think I could be thinking wrong. I have everything drilled out. I need to go get longer bolts. You guys can't really see that very well. 
That's a little better. I'm going to end up with four quarter inch bolts and two five sixteenths bolts. And I think that'll hold it. I mean, it seems like a good theory. I don't know if it stayed concentric. I hope it stayed concentric. Let's find out. Well, let's see if we can get you guys where you might be able to see a little something here. So we are 0 0.2304, give or take. I'm eyeballing. About 0 0.2385. Two it's close. Depends on the angle you hold your mouth or how much you squint. I'm not sure when you guys will exactly see this, but it'll be pretty quick to, or close to my recording date. But uh, the weather, for it being early November, is absolutely fabulous. Well, that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I'm going to set that under there so I got a little bit of space to work. Oh, I should be putting that on there. I kind of forgot about that part. And I don't think I need it. All right, let's find my, my scratch mark here. There's that. Let me make sure I'm about to find the right mark here. Yeah. Okay. I'm liking it. That one's just a little bit snug. But that's okay. There we go. Everything kind of pulled up there. Let's tip that that away so I can see it. see any reason why this shouldn't work just fine. I know with nylon lock nuts you don't really need the lock washer but that's more about letting it have a little bit of space to kind of 
settle in and because that pulley face isn't perfectly flat. Gonna look like a mag. Have I mentioned how heavy this sucker is? Man, it's got lots of cast iron in it, even if it is Chinese cast iron. Still heavy. Ah. I need a significantly shorter belt. Unless I do that, which I kind of like. I don't think y'all can see that. Let's put you over here so you can see that. I'm just kind of eyeballing here. You know, I think. Because I want it up higher, that if I bring it up here, about like that, I'll be in pretty good shape. I think that might work. All right, tape measure. Do you guys know where the tape measure is? Because that's what we need. We're going to do a little measuring, and we might actually get to do a little welding here. We might. So from the edge of the bracket to the back of the pulley, about two and three quarters inches. Never throw away a bed frame, I'm just telling you, right now. Because you might need a chunk of metal. Got a little bit wider angle view there. Ooh, I think the last thing we welded was that uh, bumper parts onto the tractor. This thing is cranked up. We won't need it to be that hot or that fast. Let's uh, let's get this spotted in there. Make sure you guys are recording and you can hear me right can you hear me i think you can hear me we're going with it
Well, quality is probably not job one right there. I'm just, if you're wondering. Through the magic of YouTube, I have cut a couple of angled pieces here. And I think that we're going to spot them on. I'm going to run out of daylight before I run out of everything else. Just kind of eyeball in here. I think that's going to get me close. Close, close. Now there's the business into that thing. Boy, that is like, that's pretty happy. Let's, uh, let's trade back to the welder and uh, do a little spot welding. Just kind of currently eyeballing for square. What can I use? There's a little bit of a parallel. Block for the win. That's square against the pulley. We got about six and a quarter. About six and a half. Put that out just a little further. Now that's really close. That's what I'm talking about. Let's have a little more heat. I'm going to improve a couple spot welds here and
I think that'll be enough to kind of set it up on there. I think. And I think I might be out of wire. Oh, this bad mamba jamba is heavy. I'm gonna need a kickstand. As you guys can probably tell, I'm quickly running out of light. What's up, chickens? So I think I'm gonna pick up, but check this out. Right? Are you seeing where this is going? I think I like that. This is the mouth. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna rotate it back this way. And I might just make the chute and let it fall completely off the end. That way it's got a little bit more cooling time. Um, obviously I gotta line those up still. But I like my spacing, 28 inch belts should get it. I'm gonna order those belts and uh, I think when they get here, I'll be able to finish putting it together. I'm not gonna weld anything solid solid until I, uh, until I know for sure what that situation is but I think I think it's gonna work this is gonna be awesome thanks for watching come back for more hit that subscribe button if you made it this far I appreciate you being here we'll see you next time